Today is the 1st of June 2023. It's a pretty significant day uh, in terms of what we're doing with the ship. Uh, with me is uh, fellow director Mark Gilbert, uh, who's responsible for the engineering aspects of lifting and moving the ship. Uh, I'll just leave Mark to explain what, uh, what's happening today. Okay, thanks Peter. Well, today is the first day we've got our Dutch experts with us supervising the entire job. They're, they're doubly expert because they did jack this ship down 10 years ago. I would say they do one jacking a year of a similar complexity in their business. So they're the experts, and the maritime experts in Holland. Um, they're also good friends. So today we're doing the setup. Obviously this is the culmination of many, many months of hard work for this team, this fantastic team. Uh, and we're just now installing the jacking devices, the climbing jacks, into the cradle. So over here we have, they're putting in number four and they're going at an astonishing rate because the Dutch guys are telling us how to do it. We've got 10 jacks entirely synchronised so the whole ship can go up as one thing staying perfectly level and we go up in 75 millimetre jumps and we use these timbers that you can see over here 75 by 75 hardwood timbers which will be the basic building blocks that we use to climb climb with the jacking system we've got over 1000 pieces when we start jacking the first layer we've got 10 jack points the first layer we use steel for strength. The boys have put in the jacking stools. This is one of them, this is type A. The ram pushes down in the centre on these bearing plates and then we put the timbers in here. But the first layer is steel and they're the steel members that we looked at before. And we have six pieces of steel running across just to spread the load perfectly onto this steel substructure. So this is what we call the Type B jacking arrangement. It's on the centre line of the ship and of the barge. The jacks and hydraulics are being hooked up today uh, and what we have is uh, jack number one at the aft stern, uh, jack number two over here, jack number three a bit further down and then four and five um, and then the others down the other side. Once everything is in place and tested today, tomorrow we'll actually undertake the jacking. The two people managing the uh, lifting exercise in conjunction with Mark Hewitt and our people, uh, two people from Hebo, uh, Bart and Jan, uh, both of whom are involved in uh, lifting the ship in Scotland uh, and have extensive experience in heavy lifts such as this. So one of the big safety features of this project of the design really is that we have a secondary support system. The jacks have all the controls, all the valves, so on, so that they can't collapse if we lose hydraulic power or if we burst a hose. But even with that we have going to have a secondary support system. And these massive beams here are what we call the logs, simply because there's like tree trunks. They're double 760 universal beams, each one weighs four tons. So when the, when the cradle has been lifted sufficiently high, these logs will be moved in under this side truss and provide the support in case it falls. And as the, as the load goes up, we'll be packing it with timber and steel so that this secondary support follows the cradle rising and it always trails it by about 25 to 50 millimetres so that if one system fails, the other carries it.
We're now into day two. We had a great day yesterday. We achieved so much work yesterday. We installed all the jacking frames and set the whole thing up. And we even lifted the ship 50 millimeters, 60 millimeters to do a trial. So we got to stage 1A, which we call it. And Jan here, our Dutch friend, is operating the controls of the hydraulics, the manifolds and the pumps. So they're all synchronised perfectly amongst 10 jacks. Yeah, we're just after Smoko on day two. We've got nine of the 10 supports all beautifully shimmed to the right level. Uh, the 10th one is just giving us a problem because the deck is uneven and we're just making some packers to pack it out and then we're gonna go for it. We started the day, this level here was down close to this beam. We've jacked up this far. In about two more lifts we'll have enough room to slide the big heavy steel logs under which are our security. And we have reached the sufficient height to bring in those big beams, which we call the logs. And you can see here the boys are just dragging them in using chain blocks right now. Well, it's day two, we've still got light, and we've finished. We've done all the jacking direct, perfectly on schedule. This stair here was down on the ground yesterday. So we've come up the whole distance. You can see these timbers here holding it up. The whole thing just looks beautiful. It's as true and level as you could ever hope for. It's been a fantastic day. The Dutch guys have done a great job and the volunteers have done a fantastic job. A lot of help from industry. Our industry friends have helped us. And tomorrow, we're just gonna come, we're gonna have a quiet day tomorrow. We have to secure the load for the next three months, make sure it's stable, put it on steel supports, not timber. Uh, and then, final, then we'll resume tours. And after that, the next job for the next few months is to clean up the deck of the barge so that we can drive the SPMT trailers over it. We're going to move the barge down to the end of the dock. We're going to roll off this load onto land, around the sheds and into the pit. In the next three months we're going to dig that pit. That's actually going to happen over two days in a few weeks time. And then the volunteers are going to form up and pour the concrete foundations. Quite a big job. 
150 cubic metres of concrete. And then our friends Bud Avcol from across the road, who would have dug the pit by then, are going to backfill it and make it level, level and strong for the trailers. So that's the next phase. That's what we've got to do for the next three months. Day three, Saturday morning and uh, everything's going exactly according to schedule. Really, we jacked it up last night and secured it. Um, we got it, it's sitting on it, all its blocks. This morning, we just jacked it up a little bit more and we weighed it. We checked the weight. Total weight is 585 tonnes, which is exactly what Richard Smith predicted in his estimate. So he wins the prize. Um, now today we're securing the supports along the logs here. We're putting in some steel supports today and then we'll put in the rest and we'll block it with timber as well. But we're going to, uh, we're going to put in timber su uh, steel supports through the week progressively. It's going to take a little bit of time, so it'll take a few days. Once it's on its steel supports and it's wedged for sideways movement against the braces, it'll be safe for the public to go on board again.